Well, there are two main components of soil that really are the, supply the benefits that plants need to be able to grow, and that would be the soil organic matter. But in, in addition to that, it's dominantly uh, clay minerals, uh, the minerals that occur in the clay fraction and the clay particle size, they're largely the, the minerals that supply the ability of, of soils to retain nutrients that plants use. But I have a soil sample here that is a, it's high in clay. It actually has a texture that we would call a silty clay. It has a texture that is, occurs in many of our subsoils in Kansas. It's around 40 to 45 percent clay, but one property of many of our uh, uh, soils in Kansas with a high clay content is a plasticity to it. And you can see how I can just rub this between my thumb and forefingers and it forms a very long ribbon. That indicates that it's a sample that's very high in clay and it's also a type clay that has a lot of plasticity to it. The uh, American Indians, they had known deposits uh, that they would go to to be able to dig out and mine. Uh, some areas where uh, the, the clay was concentrated in the soil. This is dominantly the clay that's of uh, the mineral that's called kaolinite that they would use to make pottery. There are different qualities of clay. And so, you know, typically it was based on geography and what you had access to. Different regions have different materials. I went to Italy. The clay there was green when I was using it, but it fires terracotta. And it's all about the iron content and sort of, you know, how long it's been decomposing. And, you know, there's countless additives and different sort of additions and subtractions you can make to your clay body. There's endless possibilities. We work with a periodic table of, ed of elements to compose glazes and to compo compose clay bodies. And so, you know, we are, we are scientists. We maybe don't go as in depth as understanding all of the different things, but we are balancing equations and calculating to make sure that we have what we need to make the right melts or to make the right color happen. Mm -hmm.